Hi, I'm Erin Zettel. I'm a Family Literacy Center board member and a licensed attorney in the state of Michigan. We are creating these informational videos to help inform our students about certain legal issues. Um, this legal advice is very general advice. It isn't addressing any specific legal problem. It's also valid as of March 2024. Laws change all the time. This video is about the front of the court, child support, custody, parenting time. And look, I get that these are very difficult issues and they're very fraught and emotional because you're dealing with your kids and you're dealing with your ex and the front of the court can be hard to deal with and it can be scary to deal with and you think of them as just like the people who are taking child support but here's the thing two bits of advice one go to the front of the court and familiarize yourself with all of the forms that they have available for you because 90 percent of the things that you're dealing with you might be able to do on your own with the friend of the court forms somebody missed some parenting time there's a form for that uh, you want to change parenting time there's a form for that you need to change child support there's a form for that and the friend of the court is very used to dealing with people who are not represented by attorneys they can't give legal advice. Nobody at the courthouse can. They're literally not allowed to, but they will be able to say, here's the form, fill it out and bring it back. They can set you up with a motion date, a hearing in front of the referee, things like that. The other bit of advice that I really wanna stress to people is, do not ignore problems that are happening or things that are coming up. If you've changed employment, and you think like, oh, I just won't tell anyone that I've changed employment and then my child support won't go up. Eventually, someone will find out. And eventually, you could end up with a back child support issue. Um, if you haven't been paying child support because you lost your job, go fill out the form. Otherwise, that arrearage is just going to keep growing until eventually you get arrested on a warrant for unpaid child support and you end up in jail. Or worse, you end up being charged with felony non-support, which is being charged with a felony for not paying your child support. Your driver's license can get suspended. You can be prevented from getting a hunting or a fishing license. There are a lot of ramifications that can happen if you ignore the child support orders and issues. Um, have another kid, go in and let them know. Address changes, go in and let them know because oh, I forgot to do those things is never going to be a valid excuse to a child support warrant. And I know that it's very easy to take out frustrations against your ex or her crazy mom or his crazy dad or his crazy sister or whatever's going on. It's easy to take out those frustrations on the front of the court. I get that. I've seen that. I did family law for a long time. But in the end, it's going to be the judge making the decisions and you want to put your best foot forward and you want to give them as much information as possible so that they can make a decision. Because here's the thing, child support isn't divide, decided by a judge or a friend of the court employee. It's literally a formula. They type in numbers, they type in days and they hit a button and child support comes out the bottom. It's not a matter of who likes who more or who showed up at the front of the court first. So. Be above board, take care of the issues when they arise, and go and get familiar with the front of the court. Because if there are issues, don't let them back up. File your complaints, file your motions, file your child support adjustments, get things done as they arise so that you don't end up with a massive issue three days after Christmas, because I've been there for that too. Uh, wrapping up, here's another standard lawyer disclaimer. This isn't specific legal advice. If you do have a legal problem, please consult an attorney. A lot of lawyers have free consultations.